Hello there, and once again I'm playing around with Fusion 360 and Archimedean Solids. Uh, this is the snub cube. Uh, you had taken a cube, extended out the faces, and you add an edge, which is this one here, which makes um, the faces rotate slightly. So this also makes that, uh, look, it ends up what you can do this solid in two directions. This is, I think they call it the clockwise rotation, that you can also do if you the sketching I want to do later, if you do it the other way around, you can sl slightly rotate this in counterclockwise direction. And yes, it's it's the same from all sides, so that's good. But the problem is, of course, just to display my full process, if I turn off, so you can see through, turn it to autographic, and let's look at it. As you can see, uh, yes, there, there's a square on the other side, but still the same, so we can't use mirrors and stuff like that. We need to make the whole whole solid in one go basically so I will be using um, surfaces instead of making solids in this one uh, the thing that's good about it if you have a look you can see there's a square and all the triangles are situated around the square so my aim is to get the squares out so I have them and then I'm gonna 3D sketch between them and make a couple of triangles and then do some circular patterns so let's start that I have I'll just start a new design and put in a canvas here, which is from Wikipedia. And I'm going to start a new sketch on this plane. I'm just having to explain a bit what's going on. Uh, we're going to start with the polygon. This is just to get the size settings and start us going. Four size. We need a square. We're going to make it construction. And we're going to constrain it horizontally or vertically, I don't call it, and now we're going to dimension it. I have already scaled the canvas to 100 millimeter, as you can see it fits now, and as you can see now we need the other square for the center here, polygon, circumscribe polygon, make it a construction polygon once again, and four sides, I will not totally put it right, but yeah, slightly correct orientation. If we now have a look at this little beautiful polygon, you can see some interesting things. I'm going to turn off the sketch for a couple of seconds. Uh, this is the square here, and if we look, you can see the square there, and the square there, so you can see more around. This means, if by symmetry, this point here is the same as that one, so that needs to be vertical. That point there, and that point there is the same point. Yeah, different squares but the same point of the square so that needs to be vertical. Uh, the triangle we are seeing here is an equilateral triangle but we are seeing it at a projected angle but we know at least one thing these two lines these two legs of a triangle are the same side not the same as this one and the third thing I'm going to use is that this point here straight for everything is the same as this one and it happens to be straight through the center point up to here and everything is connected here so that is what, you could, uh, what I'm trying to do now so we do by starting doing some lines make sure I do not get any uh, constraints by mistake these two were supposed to be equal and then we do a line from here up to here so this is the same as these two points here this is going to be uh, vertical or horizontal, yes, vertical in this case. Uh, the next I'm going to do is a line. Now I'm going to do the diagonal. I'm going up somewhere up here, constrain it or coincident with the corner, so it becomes a diagonal. And I will do a line from here up to there. This line is the same as these two points here, so we're going to we, uh, constrain it vertical. And now I'm going to do expand this a bit, a bit closer. The last thing of course, these points are connected to the side, so we're going to take this point, make it coincident with the side, and this point coincident with the side. And look, everything is constrained and nice. So now we can turn off the canvas. That is our base sketch. Now we're going to use that to, first of all we need to make a useful cube to put the sketches on, so we are going to create a new sketch on this plane. We are going to project some things. We will project a side and that one. And 
and as usual I love circles construction circle and with a line uh, we do not want that to be construction and for safety I don't know as I say I don't know if this is nearest necessary to I'm gonna make the construction plane up here so I wanna I want to have that point there finish sketch construct a new plane from this the extent to object up here and now we're gonna create a sketch of this plane which is quite simple we are just going to project the square inside here like that and we are finished with that sketch and we will now do go with the surface create our first patch this one we will give a circular pattern of this around uh, basically any axe we want except the one by going through this so we're gonna pick the here first we need four instances and we are going to repeat repeat the circular pattern, choose the same. The axle I'm going to choose is now the other one. This axle and yeah, just for fun I can, oh we need four. I can uncheck this one because I already have that one. I would anyway get too many faces in the end. Now we have made all the squares on all the four, uh, six sides of the cube. So what can I do now? I'm going to turn off these sketches as they are just in my way. Now we are going to do a new sketch. We're going to do it on yeah, basically any plane. I'm choosing this one. And the first thing I'm going to do, I will create, project include, include 3D geometry. I'm going to choose these three squares. And now we're going to do some lines. We're going to do it from this corner up to here, from here to here you see we are starting to draw the triangles and there and there and there so with that we are finished what we do now we're gonna add some patches we will do a circular pattern uh, these three triangles and the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to choose the axle that goes through this plane where's my obvious patch here and I do it four times so now we have done one lid or one one sixth of a cube uh, another circular pattern uh, I'm gonna choose all the beautiful triangles of course I could take the cube or square in the middle too but I don't want right now like that Axel uh, any axle except the one with the versa. So I'm going to take this one four times and I'm going to turn off the sketcher so it don't annoy me. And the last thing, we're going to stitch all of this to one solid. That is the beautiful snub cube. And just to check, we can expect we from this flat side to this flat side, as was our dimension is 100 millimeters. And we can have also take a look at two sides, 43.759. We can take another side. All the sides have the same length. And just to go back and check, if we take our first sketch and change the dimension, as I always try to, I always like to take the dimension downwards. Let's like did 22 millimeters because if anything crashes, it does when I reduce the size. And it seemed to work. Inspect it once more. This flat surface and this 22 millimeters. Yeah, parametric is working and close up the vessels with the snub cube. Have a good time. See you around.